Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you, explain to you how to create this video effect even if it's not really a video effect it's like a 3D, it's geometry, okay? So, we're going to just start from, from scratch Okay, I first encourage you to download some videos, maybe you have some in your computer, but I like this website called Pexels, there are a lot of free videos to get for free, so it's nice. And let's go, okay. So the first thing I want to create is a constant shop. In this constant shop, we're gonna have uh, all the parameters we want to play with in our vision. So let's just first write everything and we're gonna play with the parameters after. Force. Oops, sorry. Okay, you can set the color by pressing C on your keyboard and I just select yellow. We now need to import our videos we downloaded inside of Touch Designer and select all and hide it because we don't want our CPU to cook every video every time. Okay, so now we want to add a switch top. It's not mandatory, but to play with the, with the visual, it's more interesting. Okay, so please right click here, select view and put it like right here, wherever you want. Okay, with the switch, we can choose which video we want to to visualize. So I want to be on the 4. Okay, so here I write 4. I select this and I click hold when moving and release my button here and select chop reference. So now when I play with this button, I can choose the, the video. Okay, now I add a null and I want to decrease the resolution of the video because all of this will be converted into points and it can create a lot of points, like too much for my computer. Um, so I want to have access to the resolution. We can do it by pressing the middle button button of the mouse. Here we see. But I want to access to the to the data in touch, so I just select info. So I have the resolution here. So now I play I add a fit top. I add uh, no I add nothing. Um, in common, I can put this here and I want to play with the res multiplication. So just for now, drag and drop it here and reference. Okay, select this, cut with CTRL, 
CTR and X and then multiply by a new paste. Okay. Copy this, paste, and here we put Y. Okay. So now we have divided our resolution by 5. And when we play with this parameter, you can see that you can increase or decrease the resolution. Okay, so let's stay at point 0.2. Um, now I add the null. Okay, so we lowered the resolution. Let's move a bit this for a few seconds and select optical flow in the tools. Okay. I can close it to have more space and I connect these two. Okay, so in parameters, drag and drop reference the OPT force and the OPT threshold. This node is gonna come with us along the creation of the network. So let's increase the OPT force, let's say by five. You can also move the modify the value by pressing and holding the middle click, the middle button of your of your mouse. You can select like different way to, to, to change the value. So let's put five. What we see is the let's say the displacement of the pixels uh, during the time. So basically it takes like the image one time one frame ago and it displays how the the displacement is is moving. So the Y um, is green and the red is for the the X axis. So vertical and horizontal. Okay. So now we have this data. We will create like a UV map. Um, I will not explain again what is a UV map, but you can find information about that in my previous tutorial. Okay, so I want to have the same resolution here as here. So I go in common, okay, on the ramp. I go on the feet, I can close this. And then I take this, hold, and drop it here and reference. Okay. You go in the pixel format, you go to 32 to have negative values. Copy the ramp, paste the ramp, and this one is gonna be vertical. Okay. Now add the rear dot top and connect the two inputs. This one input two and here zero. So we created kind of a grid. You can press the plus, right click view as points or just press V to see that the conversion um, from RGB to XYZ. And we can see that, yeah, the, our pixels have not the same uh, space between X and Y. It's not like very good. Because I want the this geometry to be the same aspect as this. So I will add a point transform. Okay. And again I will play with the with the scale to have the something like perfect. And in order to do this, I will 
um, divide. I want to divide. Um, like that. Sorry, this by this. So select the point transform. Take this, put it right here. Reference. Develop it. And then just copy, divide, paste, and here we have the res y. Okay, so now we have something perfect. And it is perfect even if we change the, the video. Let's change, you see, it adapts automatically. Okay, um, now I want it to be at the center of the reference. So I just right click here and add another point transform. And then I just minus dot five minus dot five. Oops, sorry. Okay, maybe there are other ways to do this, but just wanted to go fast. Okay, so now uh, I want to get information, data from this. Okay, let's first decrease this. And yeah, we can see some things. I want to add a null, okay, and I want to convert it into chop to have the red, green, blue, alpha values. So because it's 2D moving, we have only two channels with values variations, okay. And I want these these changes to be a bit more soft, let's say. So I'm gonna add a filter. Okay. I want this is something that can be greedy for the computer. So hide. Um, I made I forget something. Here I want to output a single channel set and crop my full image. That's why it's important to divide the resolution because if I increase the resolution we can have huge frames drop. Yeah. Okay, so let's put like dot two or maybe dot one depends of your computer you can hide it and here you can hide it as well and we're gonna just reference the smooth filter here okay so now we have things oops I forget filter by sample Okay, so compared to this, it moves a lot. This is more soft. Okay, you have to know that the more you increase the smooth filter, the more it will be heavy for your CPU. Okay, um, now. I want to convert this into chop as well, okay? And I want to add these two values to my actual values of my of my grid, okay? So um, let's use a select. Let's add another select here. 
and drag and drop or just write here the name of this node okay okay so I want to here select only here as well Let, okay I want to select R and G I want to select R and G okay add the mass select the two nodes put it here and in combined shops add them together I can see something that I don't like which is this thing here ah, yes I know why because here I have not converted the wall image into chops. I have to output a single channel set and then full image. Now it's way better. Okay, hide everything to keep your your CPU a bit fresh. And we're gonna replace these values into this. So select replace and then just tuck, tuck. Okay. I want, and you are not, it's not mandatory to do what I will do, but I'd like to have something as well on the Z axis to create kind of 3D things. Um, in order to do this, I will just drag, just add a blur after this. Okay, here. And just drag this value and drop it here, reference. And the blur will go here. Save your project, please, in case of crash. And select here, input 3 and luminance. So, we can see that on the blue channel, we have our optical flow. Okay, let's move our frame. And now we have things moving as well on the, on the blue. Um, maybe we can just middle click here, we can select um, only the blue, we can add a mass, and in multiple add just put uh, drag and drop this parameter so we can this way stop the variations on the z-axis okay so I want to replace this value inside of this replace so this this and here okay okay let's set it at one and now let's add a null and hide everything save your project again please so now let's see how it renders um, into a, into a geometry. So let's add a box. Let's put the scale at dot one and maybe zero. Okay. Add the geo. Add camera. 
add some light in material at the phone put the foam right here release select material put the specular at zero okay maybe the diffuse at one it's kind of a no not a constant but a most um, put a render let's put a resolution you want you can do what you whatever you want here and then add a transform top put one here like this and null and display it on the background okay so now the step is to convert this not convert but just instance this according to this so select instancing save your project please drag here r g and b and now we're gonna just increase this just a little okay okay i will modify the the video so i can have something okay okay move the camera we can select uh, orthographic view okay um, now I want to add colors so um, let's add a select here and this is uh, our video but scaled down so put it right here okay so now we have our video here add uh, a null select geo instance 2 and drag and drop the null 7 here so R, G and B yes we have colors and we can see that let's use the let's visualize in 3d with the geometry viewer press q or just um, disable the adaptive homing and now we can see that it's moving according to the optical flow okay this is ugly <laughs> of course but when we look at it from the front it's okay it's interesting so go back to the network add uh, just a level to increase a bit i don't know the the brightness okay okay save your project again and now we can try with a lot of videos Okay, so like this one. I love this one. I really like this one. Okay, so now I want. I mean, I don't like the f the fact that it is very like it's a grid, you know. I want the things to be a little bit dirty. So um, let's convert it into a top. Let's select RGBA or just RGB, but just RGB will have error because last channels is unused, so we don't care. Um, and then I just want to add a noise, okay. Um, I want to disable the monochrome 
and then I will uh, drag the period instance per I want to drag the amplitude and I want to uh, the scale is not for this okay now I will create a constant chop called speed and add a speed so select the noise go into the transform page and reference this parameter here okay and reference this parameter right here okay before modifying the value let's observe what we did so in the output page it's not this oh no it's the good one okay just the offset should be at zero okay nice so it instance put this okay I understand we don't have the same number of pixels here and here so here we want to select a custom resolution and again select the same as here or just this one so right click copy parameter and right click past reference nice um, so now we can um, play with the um, instance amp so it's how much the noise affects our original video okay um, I want to if I want to have something like a bit dirty like this I want the period to be at zero um, and I can like add a little bit of speed to my to my noise you can observe it if you like, increase the period increase the amplitude and like this you see okay so I don't want to do that you can if you want you can play with every parameter in the noise but for me I'm not it's not the thing I want to do so speed zero period zero amplitude I said uh, this right yeah okay um, I want to play as well on the scale and I want these little boxes to oops sorry to rotate a bit just not like every the same so um, put it right here middle click and select another noise monochrome off uh, force to RGB 32 um, and then just zero okay it's good I think and maybe we can make it move a bit maybe yes time but seconds multiplied by five oh no it's no no it's too much right okay not one so this is our rotations rgb okay it's not very obvious now it is you can see that it's moving it's beautiful like this yeah I like it and we're gonna do the same for the scale 
So random scale means noise again. And I want period at zero to two dot five one. Um, let's put the amp to zero for now and instant scale right here, monochrome off. Here we don't care, but let's put 32. Um, and drag drop RGB. So let's put this at zero. Ah, it's not referenced. It is. Um, okay, interesting. So if I put dot one here, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, there is something I don't understand. Just let it like this and play with the oh no my bad sorry just because of this yeah okay so put dot one here and now you can just play with this if you want the scale of each cube to be different you can play with the amplitude so some will be bigger, some will be smaller and with periods. So, okay. So I think that it is everything for this tutorial. Um, let's keep playing a bit with everything. So. Save your project, and now with this you can create a lot of things. And it's just uh, the creation of the visual. After you can play with top effects and a lot of things. So, um, you can switch video. This one is just clouds okay this one you can I like I like this one without color I don't know you but I really like this effect it's very interesting yeah so so you can change the video you can play with this to have like way less point but at the same time increase the size of boxes is interesting um, or you can just increase this but be very careful please I have a big GPU and big CPU and my computer don't like doesn't like this so let's stay at dot two uh, this is a horizontal video so let's change the final resolution let's move a bit this okay um, you can play with the uh, so the blur is just for we saw that we added movement, displacement on the z-axis. So when you put it at zero, there are no more displacement of the, on the z-axis. You can increase it as much as you want. And the blur is just to avoid this, avoid this kind of movement very, very hard. Okay, so let's put it at seven. Uh, let's put it at one. Um, 
the smooth filter is just how the displacement of cubes will be affected. This is the nothing, just the original data from the optical flow. Okay, and the more you increase your smooth filter, the more the more it will be nice. But the more you increase it, the less your computer will like what you ask him to do. Okay, so I think that it's everything I wanted to I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, do not hesitate if you have questions. I'm open to discussion. And yeah, enjoy, have a good time and see you, bye.